How's it going everyone and welcome to my God of War Ragnarok 100% collectibles guide. I decided to break this video series down into realms because there are just so many collectibles in this game. I will be releasing a video that shows all of the collectibles for all of the realms once I'm done releasing them in parts, but I thought it might be a little bit easier to digest releasing them section by section. So we're going to start out in Svartalfheim and I'm going to show you how to get all of the Nornia chests, all the legendary chests, all the lore, all the artifacts, all of Odin's ravens, all of the remnants of Asgard's, all of the berserker headstones and anything else that counts towards achievements. So hopefully this helps you out. It takes a hell of a lot of time to put this stuff together. So let me know in the comment section if it helps you out. All the likes and subscriptions and stuff are greatly appreciated. And if you followed my previous guide for the other God of War game, I appreciate you following through and coming through to this one. Let's get this going. All right, so our first collectible is the first Raven in the Orvanga Wetlands. And it's just over here next to the Mystic Gateway on the left. One less feathery spy. Okay, so next up we've got an artifact. We're going to have to get in the boat to move on. We are going to have to come back around this area to get some collectibles sorted in a bit. But I'm doing my best to keep it in some sort of order that's easy to follow. There's certain things you need to do to unlock some collectibles. So I'll come back to that. She helped you against the God of War. Because she had visions that the god of war would bring down Olympus. Yes. And in defeating Ares, I became the god of war. In the end, I proved her vision of doom correct. So the oracle herself brought about the very future she hoped to avoid. I'm so very relieved we didn't do the same. Yeah, we will have some conversation between Mimir and Kratos. It's kind of cool that Kratos talks about his... Uh, previous life in Greece or the other games if you played the other games you might know about that although there is a lot to actually know about what happened to Kratos really interesting story to be fair but we're coming in here we're gonna freeze up these geysers so we can jump up onto this ledge and we're getting this artifact I think this is the first thing left behind I'll also do my best to show the maps in between. If you're looking for more or certain collectibles, you can also just use the timestamps in the description. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Lunder may be interested in getting these back. We should check in with her. Right, so next up we've got the Nornia chest that's in this area. And it's just below us. But in case you are picking out certain collectibles that you want to get, I'll go ahead and just show the map as often as possible. I know it can be a little bit tedious, but it's for the best. If you're trying to find certain collectibles or there's something you're missing, at least you can go ahead and just find individual ones. If there's slight glitches in the footage anywhere, I apologize for that. It's my capture card playing up. I got a new capture card and I'm still working out the kinks a little bit. Although I think for future videos, I have got it all figured out now. But there shouldn't be anything that's stopping you from getting a collectible anywhere. And if I, if I notice anything while I'm watching this back to go ahead and record the audio for this video, I'll go and edit it out just so it's clearer to follow. I wouldn't want to put out a video that people can't follow for some reason. So next up, we've got the first hell tear. Freya, I'm going to have to go up here something is on your mind. and down what this rope. Freya's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it. Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. There's the Helter. be given freely. Freyr had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down. And hold that thought. All right, so beat the enemies. And then you can go ahead and close the Helter and get yourself some loot. You will have done two of the hell tears along with the story, so if you do this one, you should be at three. Um, this guide is assuming that you've beaten the main story. Okay, and there it is on the map. A lot of these collectibles won't appear until you've beaten the main story. So next up, we're getting the first remnants of Asgard, and we're going to have to go ahead and leave this little island and go to another one. A lot of the areas in um, Svartalheim are kind of branched off into little islands, but this one is a bunch of different islands that counts as one area. I'm breaking this up into areas, and I've also broken this whole Mother, guide up into I realms. About. We'll talk about that a little bit more soon. To 
but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Krasfelder. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he told off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Mira, what exactly did you promise the Lars Bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. It's just that she'd like to retire. Retire? Hell's Eagle wants to retire? Indeed. And don't ask me what she expects to do with her free time. I assure you, there is no reassuring answer. Can she even do that? Not be hell? Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather, infinite hours, and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement. Complete chaos. All right. Yes. So get into this island. Prepare for the first remnants of Asgard is here. When you approach this rock, you'll get attacked by Aesir, and you have to kill them. All right. Get rid of them, and then you'll automatically complete the remnants, and you'll get some dialogue. The Einher Yard will continue to be a nuisance for the realm. Only if we do nothing. The realms will never heal if they remain. How many more? Only one way to find out. Alright. So that'll start off the favor once you've done the first one. Okay, so just to the right of the rock is a Nornia chest. This is the second one in this area. And there's only two in the wetlands that you need to get. Oh, there's plenty more in Svartalheim. So go ahead and freeze up the geyser if you need to see exactly what symbol this is on. But I think you should just need to hit it once, to be honest. It's easy enough to check, but yeah, I think you only need to hit that one once. So once you've done that, come up here, and the second one is just above you. I'm not doing too well with these axe throwers right now. There we go, and the third one is just down here. Up on this ledge, next to the red chest. I also wanted to mention that the red chests don't count towards 100% at all. If you want to get those along the way, that's fair enough, but they don't count towards completion or trophies or anything like they did in the previous game. Uh, but if you see me run past one, feel free to get it if you want to. I actually haven't opened any of them at this point. Some of them I do open up along the way. Especially in the areas where you get better resources out of them. Because they give a lot of resources um, that go towards upgrading weapons and armor and stuff. So that's pretty much what you get out of those. Alright, so next up we've got a legendary chest. We're coming up here again. And it is just sitting on this ledge right here. I'm going to do my best to label what each one is. You should be able to see it on stream. Again, if you're looking for something in particular then uh, look at the description and you might be able to find some information on what's in what chest, although that was the deadly obsidian handles. If you've completed the game, though, a lot of this stuff that you get out of these areas isn't really that good. Maybe you want the runic attacks. Uh, next up, we've got a lore marker. The first one, Unsafe Roads. It's just down you here. You the runes, brother. Yeah, I wanted to break up these videos into realms just because if I had all eight realms in one video for one it takes forever to make these videos it takes a really long time to make these videos like a lot of work goes into them and I am going to make videos for all of the eight realms and I probably will make a video that shows all eight realms at once but I thought it'd be a good idea to get this out a little bit faster so that I could show each realm one by one how did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one Odin uh disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. This separated Freya from his sword. <laughs> oh, with embarrassing speed. <laughs> I am glad Freya ultimately retrieved it. Me too. My little boy. Okay, so next up we've got the second artifact, which is a Kavasia poem. I think this is the first Kvarsia poem that you're going to find. There's six of them to get, I'm pretty sure, but they're scattered across different realms. Or maybe there's more than that, I can't remember, but we'll figure it out, I'm sure. So if you hear from my previous collectible video, by the way, 
Thank you very much for waiting for me to make these videos. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Um, yeah, it means a lot. These videos do take a long time to put together, as you can probably imagine, and I don't have the luxury of getting games early like other people's do, so... That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. All right. So... There's the poem. That's where it is on the map. Something nice and easy. Prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them. I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, one gets around about that sort of thing. All right, so we've got Cavassia poem number three now. We're going to have to head a little further into the wetlands. Hopefully you're able to follow along with the path in here. I did want to include as much path in as possible, yeah. so there's no confusion as to where you got to go. Tell a story, if you wish. <laughs> I preferable to silence at last? A rare day. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been one on my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Aye. Women. Drink. Mostly women. <laughs> As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. Enough. We will right. continue later. So now we're on Nidavellir. This is artifact number three, which is again a Kavarsia poem. Which is right there on this box. Go ahead and grab that. There's also a little chest here if you want to open that. You might see me grab those from time to time, but like I mentioned, they don't count towards completion, so don't worry about getting all of those if you miss some. Alright, so there's the map. And we've 100 percented the wetlands. Now we're moving on to Nidavellir. There's a couple of complicated favours in this area, and I'll do my best to explain those and what you've got to do. You've got a law scroll right there. Which is a shopping list, I believe. Next up, we've got a raven. Which is right there. Let's have a little look at the map. There it is. Come here. I gotta tell you something. Okay. So, moving on to artifact number four. Things left behind. We're going to jump into this little crawl space, and it's over to your left after this. Yeah, you have to come through this tunnel. And you can find it just on the floor down here. The main story does bring you down here at some point, I think, so... From the chief anti you may have already collected this. Rebellion. Quite a sharp witch she had until she turned to... Less. There's the map. Interrupt to Mamiya there. All right. So we're going to go back to where we crawled through right here. And next up, we've got the nine realms in bloom flower. This is the first flower. You're going to need a spear for this. So chuck the spear right there. And then hop the gap. And you can find the flower just here on the floor. Nice and easy. The great thing about watching these videos back is I can cover any mistakes I've made, make sure everything's good and thorough for you guys. There's a look at the map for the flower if you want to get it. Again, if you're looking for something in particular, take a look at the description. You can usually figure out what it is you're missing or what you need in each area. The great thing about this game is you can look at different sections of the map and figure out where you're missing stuff, so it makes things a little bit easier. That's why I kind of want to get my timestamps correct. Alright, so we're coming over to the back now. We need to throw another spear into this area here and then hop up. 
and you can get legendary chest number two, which is the luminous recovery handles, which I think is a uh, axe attachment. Oh no, it's a blades attachment. Sorry. And there's the map. Right next to that is our next collectible, which is a treasure map. Mining glory. Pick that up. If you're looking for the solution to the treasure maps, take a look in the description. Again, I'll do my best to post the solution next to the timestamp of where you found the treasure map. So you can just skip to it if that's what you're looking for. So this next one is actually in a different area. Um, but you're going to have to have done this before you can complete the next favor that's in Nidavellir. And for this, we need to go back to the Sferd Sands. You can only do this if you've beaten the main story. But before you go to the Sferd Sands, you're going to have to come to the tavern over here. I'll explain what we'll do in this in a second. So this is a funeral for Brock. You may have already done this yourself. If you have, then skip ahead a little bit, I guess. Or you might want to watch this out just so you can follow properly. So once you've spoken to these guys and interacted with Brock on the table, very sad. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sferd Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. So you want to want to go back to a mystic gateway and travel back to where I've just hovered over on the map. So I'm going back to the wetlands. And the reason that I didn't do this at the very start is because you need to visit the tavern first before you can vision, uh, visit this. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get to this point. Like I said, you may have already done this. If not, just follow along with me, come back to the wetlands, and then you're going to head to your left now. Previously, we went to the right and got in the boat, um, but we're going to go over to the left and use the ferry to get to the other side. The reason we're doing this is because there's a favor we need to do, and you may have already picked it up, I think it's called Spirit of Rebellion, and you can pick it up along on the main story path. Check your goals to see if it's in there. So once you interact with Brock here, you'll have a cutscene, and then you'll complete the favor. And then we're gonna go back to the tavern once we've done this, just so we've got these favors out of the way. So this next one, Spirit of Rebellion, Check your goals. Forge hammer, little thing, symbol of the old resistance. And bring it back here. All right, so yeah, check your goals to see if you already have this one because Dino, is it Dino? No, it's, is it? It's his name. I know it begins with a D. Uh, but yeah, you need to get his hammer, and for this, you're gonna have to move a little further into Svartalheim. So I want to get this out of the way because it counts as a favor for this area. But he does show up in the storyline. You could use that spear to explore more of the bay. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. There is someone Everybody wants to talk over you when you're trying to explain something. Yes, brother. You can deal with the consequences of my failures in the bay or Freya's failures in Midgard. <laughs> right, so... Yeah, this uh, quest can show up on the main storyline. He stands next to a mystic gateway. If you spoke to him, you'll have this in your goals. And you'll still have to come where we're going right now. So you can travel to that mystic gateway we just passed. Um, and come and complete this quest. But if you didn't talk to him along the main storyline, then he'll be in the tavern right there. And that's when you pick it up. So I didn't talk to him, so he's in the tavern. But you check your goals just to make sure uh, if you have this or if you've completed it or not. But yeah, just check the goals. See if... It's in there or not. If not, pick it up in the tavern. These rigs were certainly the most subtle. Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of. So you're gonna have some enemies here, I think. A trade agreement of sorts. If memory serves, we're heading in the right direction. Everybody's chatting away. So once you've defeated the enemies here, there's also another favor that you should start when you're here. Because this next favor requires a lot of back and forth and it's a good idea while you're passing through to do this favor the spirit of rebellion to come and talk to the spirit that's here so that you can go ahead and complete the quest that's in the next area we're going to go to we are going to come back here because there's more collectibles but i wanted to finish off nidavalia before we moved on so speak to this guy and just pick up 
this quest? Well, to put it simply, treasure. The cash just over there, to be precise. My son and I, we, we came to these isles to uncover its riches. I feared it was too dangerous, so I came along and was, well, seemingly proven right. Is that why you haven't moved on? My son, I suspect he went in search of the second half of the treasure. Please find him and tell him his fate. If you require a reward, you may help yourself to the treasure. It doesn't matter to me anymore. Alright, so make sure you've picked that up. And when you come up here, uh, you need to interact with the thing on the left. I'm not sure what you would call this. You need to use the chisel on it. Yeah, so you use the uh, chisel on this thing on the left, and that'll get you the solution to the Spirit of Rebellion quest. But there's also a remnant of Asgard here. Kind of glad that I stood here for a minute to explain, but it's up to you what you want to do here. But we are going to come back to this area and finish it all up. But to get to the Spirit of Rebellion solution, you're probably going to have to fight these guys for the remnants of Asgard. So go ahead and fight them. And then you'll be able to lift up the hammer from this statue to get the solution to the, to the favor we're doing in Idvalia. So beat these guys up. It all counts towards completion, so I won't worry about messing anything up. This was the most efficient way I could figure out to get things in order. And that's really just because of the other favor that's in this area. If we would have come here and, say, did all the collectibles here, we still would have had to come back to this area to, to finish the favor. And... So, beating them up. Yes, they will continue to follow his orders and keep the realms under his thumb. Not for long, they won't. All right, once they've done yap to yapping away, and take a little look at the map here to show you where we are. That's where we are on Dragon Beach. And we're going to lift up this hammer, and then we can get the solution. And then we need to take it back to... Is it is it Don... Is it Don Rhea? I don't remember the guy's name, I really don't, but... I remember his squid was called Dinner. I guess that means I care more about the squid, but... There's the hammer we need. Unlike Darlin's resistance, I suppose. Darlin, that's it, Darlin. There's also a little chest here if you want to open it. So now, to complete Nidavalia, we need to take this back to Darlin. Again, that's where the solution is. If there's any confusion. You also uh, get a light runic attack for completing this. So we've come back to um, Nidavalia, into the tavern, and quickly go and have a chat. With Darlin, give him that. And we did. Thank you. With Odin gone, this will be a nice reminder to folks. Of what? That we didn't give up. And we won. Here we go. So that will get you an achievement, which is nice. Or a trophy, sorry. We're on PlayStation, damn it. And uh, we'll also get the light runic attack, the mountain splitter. Which is decent. I think that's for the spear, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you pick that. You can pick this favor up just as you get the spear. Like when you're on your way out of the area, he's standing next to a mystic gateway. I think most people will probably pick that up. Um, but if you're like me and you wanted to leave it until you'd finished the game so you could show how to do it all afterwards or whatever, or you just ignored it, he'll be in that tavern. So you can still pick it up. All right. So before we continue you'll want to go and make sure you've picked up the favors from ratatoska at sindri's house so if you've already done that you don't need to follow me here you can just continue from this area on to where we're about to go but going back to sindri's house speak to ratatoska and just make sure you've picked up the two favors from him and that's the one about the lost lindworms you are welcome and there's also the the seasonal stags you need to collect as well. So make sure you've picked those favors up before you continue, otherwise you won't be able to get these. We're going back now to Svartalheim. Just wanted to make a you know a quick note to make sure you guys had those favors on. You may not have spoken to him or ignored him like I have. So just make sure that you've picked those two favors up. The Lost Lindworms and the one for the seasonal stags. 
because there's a couple of those, well, I think there's a few lindworms in this area and you need to make sure you have that favor so you can trap them, otherwise you won't be able to trap them. So we're back at the Mystic Gateway we just used a second ago, just next to Nidavellir right here. And before we continue, we are at the Forge. Let's go and do this Berserker Gravestone. This counts towards the Forge and not where we're going next, but because we're here, we might as well do it. So these are pretty tough fights. So if you're a low level, be ready for a rough fight. Do me a favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers? Give them the same. You'll be doing the nine realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Namir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. All right. So you've probably already done that fight, just because it's. You know, it's in your way as you're running through different areas. But if you haven't, that's where it is. We're not going to come and do the forge or the rest of the forge just yet. But because we're here, we'll just do it. Why not? And we're going to move on to the rest of um, the open area that's down here. Okay, so back to the boat. And now we're going to head over towards this Nornia chest that's on Alberit Island. To avoid the touch of woman. Yet here before them stands a fair maiden in need of their help to cross the river. The laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and fords back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries. How could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? Ah, but enough of that for now. Not sure why Mamiya decided to stop there. Might be worth investigating, no? We can see it fine from here. So that's actually a secret island. I think it's called like uh, the Lynn Baker Island or something like that. And you have to do certain things to unlock that island. And it turns out to be a favor as well, but that's right at the end of this video. We... Oh, here we go. He's back. All right. So here's the Nornia chest that we're going to get. Quickly show you guys the map of where we've come to. It's Alba Rich Island. And the reason we've come here first out of all the areas that are around it is because Dragon's Beach has a favor that also correlates with this area. So if we come and do this um, area and get the favor done here, we can sort of work it out so we get that favor done efficiently, which is also why we picked it up when we went there a minute ago to get the Spirit of Rebellion favor. There is a... Uh, you know, a reason behind the madness. Okay, so opening up the Nornia chest. Method behind my madness, that was what I meant to say. Alright, there's the Nornia chest. Opening that up. Next up, we've got another Berserker gravestone. Again, these are tough fights. So be ready. Chop, chop. Tell me more of this kid. He's not worth wasting my breath over. His berserker champions even less so. Trash. The lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before there was nothing to be done. But finding that hilt changed things. All right. So it's another one of them dealt with. Next up, still on Alba Rich Island. Let's see what we're doing next. We're doing the Lost Treasure favor. So this is how we continue that favor we picked up on Dragon's Beach. And we need to go uh, over here. Chuck the spear in if you haven't already. And we're going to hop up. And you can come and speak to the spirit. Speak, spirit. Well, is that? Perhaps now. We can see each other again. 
If you hadn't have spoken to the spirit earlier on Dragon's Beach, you wouldn't be able to speak to him. So that's why we've done it in this order. So I'll speak to him, and that'll progress the favor a little bit. And then we're going to come over here and destroy this piece of rock so we can get this raven that's flapping about over here. Yeah, that favor was a lot of back and forth for me. So I've tried to put it in this video as efficiently as possible. I see. All right. And there's the map, if you're wondering where we are right now. So, before we continue, let's come down here and we need to break this rock that's right here. And this is for the lost Lindworms. The first one of those we have to get. That will raise up the thing you can hop across with the blades. So I'll come back up and hop across there with the blades. And you can find the rift right here. And this is why we went to see Ratatoskum. We could use that lift, but not while it's up there. One of Nito's children! Put it in the trap! Great! You got him! Oh, hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskru whenever you're ready. Right. So, that's the first one. You needed the trap to be able to catch those, which is why we went to see Ratatosko. Again, there's method to the madness. This game is more complicated than the last one, but I've done my best to display it all here. So next up, we've got the Washed Ashore treasure map, which is just here across the gap. We just jumped across. And now we've got Raven number four, which is just next to that right here. Take a quick look at the map. Okay. Nice and easy. So now we need to throw a spear into this hole right here. We can break that. And that'll allow us to pull this chain all the way down. And then we need to throw the axe into there and then use Freya's arrows to freeze that further. So we're gonna, it's the pink arrows. I'm not sure what they're called. But yeah, go ahead and shoot an arrow at that. The non-sonic arrows. I think they're runic arrows. I think they're called runic arrows. And then that'll allow you to bring your axe back. You need to destroy that piece of rock. Bring the axe back. Chuck it into the geyser. And then the lift will drop down. You need to do that pretty quickly. Otherwise, the gear that you froze will unfreeze. You're kind of on a time limit with the runic arrow kind of thing. A few little enemies up here to beat. Go ahead and beat them up. These little things can be really annoying. Alright. Once they're dealt with, we're going to hop up here. And there's the legendary chest. And I think this works towards the favor. The lost treasure. And you get the uh, whetstone out of that. And that, I think that's to upgrade Freya's sword. But in this playthrough, I haven't got Freya's sword yet. You need to go to uh, her wedding place to get that sword. But that's in uh, Vanheim. All right, so next up, we've got the first rune read, which is when runes are on the wall. So to get across here, we just hop across using the blades. And we need to head back. So, there's also a chest back there if you want to get it. Use the axe to freeze up the geyser, and then you can hop across. I do my best to edit out if I'm making mistakes or whatever. But, as long as I can follow along with it and it makes sense to me, I'm sure you guys will be able to make sense out of it. Okay. Like I mentioned before, this game is much bigger than the previous one. Much, much bigger. There's way more collectibles. Your homeland. I'd heard the gods there wielded every flavor of power you could imagine. Lightning, fire, the whole lot. As did I, for many years. Oh, any chance you could recall some of that magic? No, I have tried. Magic is bound to the earth. When your homeland died, your powers probably went with it. 
Ah, well, probably for the best. Let the past stay in the past and all that. So, heading along for this rune read, and we're going back to Dragon, uh, Dragon Beach. I haven't actually figured out how to get the dragon here. It doesn't count towards complete completion, but I'm guessing there's a way to get the dragon to sort of burst out of the rock. You can see it. It's like a, a dragon made out of rock on this beach. And there's a bunch of geysers around it. I'm guessing it's something to do with freezing the geysers maybe in a certain order or something like that because they don't really do anything else. But uh, I haven't actually looked into how to do it. Someone's probably figured it out, but I'm sure there's a way to fight that dragon and get something out of it. So here's the first rune, Over there. which is don't breathe. Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. That dragon looks remarkably lifelike. Yeah. There you go. So she's talking about it. I wonder what you've got to do to fight that guy. I'll have to look into it at some point. Alright, so next up we've got the fourth Nornia chest and the first symbol we need, or the first seal, is right behind the geyser there, just above the chest. And the second one is over here. I think again it's behind a geyser. Very well hidden. Yeah, literally the only uh, sort of reason for those guys is to be there that I can see is to hide the seals. So there must be something you can do to activate the dragon. And I'm guessing it's to do with the geysers. But there's all three of the seals. Depending on the order that you've picked these up in, like you may have already picked some up in your playthrough, you may not get the same thing as me. Like uh, you either get apples or... Is it Yatna horns or something like that? But depending on how many you've picked up, you may get something different. I'm pretty sure it alternates between them. Like you get an apple and then a horn and then an apple, then a horn. So you may get a horn out of that one where I'm getting an apple, but either way, you're not missing any. I wouldn't worry too much about it. So next up, we're doing the treasure map washed ashore. I think this may be the solution. And it's over here at the back. Again, you can't get this until you've picked up the treasure map. It just straight up doesn't appear until you've picked up the treasure map. So again, that's kind of why we do things in a certain order, just so you can get the map before you get the treasure. And the same with the the favors. You want to go and obviously talk to the person about the favor before you come and complete it. So that's why we're doing stuff in you know a certain order. Kind of just makes sense. All right, so next up we've got the Yggdrasil Rift. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. And we have already been to this area, I know, we're doubling back a little bit. There is a bit of that in this uh, realm that we need to sort out. But uh, once we've come up here, we need to go up the spear. I don't know why I was standing still for a second there, but we're going to come up. If you can talk to the spirit, talk to him, but you shouldn't be able to at this point with the completion we've got. We've got to go and finish the second part of this quest, and it's just after this area that we go and do that. It's in the hollow, and we're going to go there after we've done this so open up the Yggdrasil rift and you'll have to fight these guys go ahead and beat them up once you've beat them you can reach into the uh, the rift and grab your reward okay there's the map that is Dragon Beach completed, which is nice. We've already done the remnants here, but I think the remnants of Asgard actually counts towards Alberich Hollow, which is where we're going next. Um, and next up, we're doing the legendary chest number five, which is a Mospelheim Seed Hearth. And that's over here in Alberich Hollow, I believe. So in we go. Get that sorted. We've got a couple of enemies here. you got to beat up. Yeah, once you've beaten them, we'll, we'll come further in. Throwing the bombs here to uncover the chest. I'm doing my best as I'm watching this back to look out for any mistakes I've made with my labeling. Where do you reckon it leads? The gauntlet, perhaps? The what? That way I can just make it as easy to follow as possible. It's kind of the best thing to do when you watch him back and just commentating stuff. 
attempted them several years ago. With the tray? There we go. Yes. Then we should find the other half of the seed. So we've got another raven. And there it is, just sitting on top of this ledge. It's raven number five. Okay, when I move on to New Realms, I'll probably reset the label, so in a New Realm, if we collect a Raven, that'll be Raven number one, rather than continuing with how many we've got. Just because this game actually makes it kind of easy to follow along with what you're collecting in each area, you just kind of need to take a look. Alright, so we've got the Lost Lindworms number two. You need another firebomb for this. Smash open the barrier. And I'm pretty sure this is up on a ledge, but you've got to fight this guy called Ormstonger first. It's kind of a difficult mini boss. Alright, so continuing on, that'll get you the Emblem of Illusion as well, which is a uh, amulet. Continuing on then, if we come up to the left, uh, we'll be able to open up this rift, and this has one of the Lindworms in it. Nice and easy. Alright. Got him. Another one already? Great. Why exactly do you keep popping up, little one? Does your boss have you spying on us? No, 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 no. That wasn't our intention. You must believe me. I am here so Alright. So next up we're getting uh, another legendary chest. Which solves solves the favor we were doing with those spirits. And you can kind of see the method behind me doing all of this stuff this way just kind of helps you get these favors completed without having to go back and forward 20 times which i definitely had to do to figure out the order that i had to do this stuff in but that's fine so in this chest is the final part i think you may need to go back and talk to the spirit which i think i do show Also, just below you here is a chisel door that when you open it has uh, a red chest in it with some rare materials if you want to go and get that. It's just down the chain below us. So if you do want to drop down there and get it, feel free. I'm not going to go and get it here, but if you want to, you may have caught a glimpse of it there at the bottom of the screen, but it's just down this chain. There, there it is. If you want to go and get it. Also, the uh, yeah, that was the treasure map. Fruits of Industry we just picked up over there on the right of the chain. And uh, there's the map. So now we need to head back and go and talk to the spirit to complete the favor. Do my best to, you know, give as much detail as I can towards what we're doing. I know sometimes it can be a little bit confusing with this game as to where you've got to go and the exact back and forward you've got to do. So again, that's why I'm doing these uh, favors in specific orders and showing what to do, you know. Some of you might think that, like, we started out in the wetlands, I could have gone to the tavern and then come back and gone straight to the Svard Sands, but again, I wanted to work up to that point and do it from there, just because it makes the most sense to me. In a video structure, anyway, just so you can get everything done. Although I think the whole Brock funeral thing is something that a lot of people will do really early on when they when they beat the game, just because they'll want to go and experience that. You're back. Have news of your son. Oh, please. Tell me. He died trying to find the other treasure. I'll seek him out in Helheim. I'm glad we did this, Kratos. There we go. And I'm sure Atreus will be as well. Yes. All right. So next up, we've got uh, Mod. Is it Modvitnia? Modvitnia's rig. This is a favor for um, Mamil that he'll give you when you just sort of enter this area. He'll talk about going to do the rigs. So you will work towards doing that favor when you go to these rigs, but also we're uh, going to do the treasure map and the other collectibles that are on each rig. There's a couple on each rig. And this one gives us the Fruits of Industry treasure map. Again, I know I keep repeating myself, but this is why we've done certain areas first so we can go and get the map and then come back and get the solution and stuff like that. Do it in the right order and it just makes the most sense rather than having to, you know, zigzag across all the different areas. Because if you look at the map, 
this area is kind of in a big circle. So you could just say work right to left. That's also why we went to Alberidge so, Island. The mining rigs is here, Mimir. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. You got some enemies here to beat up. These little lizards are just kind of tedious, but there you go. I feel like they could have put better enemies in, but it's fine. Maybe undoing generations of smoke, metal, oil. It'd be an undertaking, and not a quick one. Right, and there's the solution to the treasure map. There's the map. You want to take a look at where we are? So we do. If for some reason you've come here early and you don't know where the treasure map is, just take a look in the description and you should be able to have a look through and find it. Okay, so smack in that here. We need to get to the legendary chest for this next area, and this is another Muspelheim seed half, so you'll have a complete seed after you've done this. So we're smacking open the gate there and then climbing all the way up here, and I think the chest is just up here. Yeah, there it is. More enemies. Really seems like overkill using the blades to kill lizards, but you know, it is what it is. I guess they just put weaker enemies in this first realm. Alright, so there we go, we got the seed half now. Okay, so hopping across and jumping down. This is the second law marker in the aerial, which has the warning on it. And there's the map. I know it's a bit tedious showing the map after every collectible, but... Again, I'm repeating myself, but just in case anyone is looking for something so specific, they'll get to see the map for anything they're looking for, which is kind of why I want to do that. It seems stupid, especially when some collectibles are right next to each other, but, you know... The amount of collectibles in this game is actually insane. I took a look at the trophies for this game and I was like, oh, there's not as many things that you've got to do, but when you actually start doing stuff, there really is a lot of stuff that you've got to do. A lot of them correlate to individual favors, um, but a lot of the chests and whatnot that you've got to get also come down to doing the achievement or the trophy. I keep saying achievement, the trophy for collecting all of the armor. All right. So we're doing the rig. This is the in-service of Asgard. Favor. This is the favor for Mamiya that we were talking about. You get a decent amount of loot out of this as well. It's worth picking up. And there's the map. Kind of an obvious one, though. I'll cover it all the same. So next up, we'll go into Radsvin's rig. So we have to leave this area. And next up, we're getting a raven. This is the eighth raven we've collected. At least I think it's the eighth. Or is that number six? I can't see clearly in my uh, my editing software here. I have to reduce the quality in order for the playback to be smooth. I'm guessing it's probably the sixth. I'll, I'll keep an eye on this stuff. This is why I like to watch these videos back while I do my commentary and make sure that if I've messed anything up whilst editing, I can come and fix it and just make sure it's nice and clear for everybody to follow. There's nothing worse than following a guide that's done badly. You know, where you miss something in a guide. It can be frustrating, but I suppose with this game it's not so bad, because if you do miss anything, you can always look at the area, because it gives you percentage tolls. Alright. So, heading over here past the geyser. And this one we have to go to this area that's just ne next to the watchtower. And you might not get the map straight away. But you get another mystic gateway. That's why we're here, Mamiya. 
And there's the raven. Just on that hook. Alright, so, now that you've done that, a little look at the map. Like I said, the map doesn't update straight away here until you get up onto the rig, but it's kind of, you know, an easy one to find. A lot of these favors have trackers as well. So beat up the enemies in the area, and then interact with the rig, and you'll get it done. Nice and easy. seem to be catching up with you, Mimir. Smartest cheat alive. Fine. Alright. So, quick look at the map. Now we're doing the fourth Nornia chest in Svartalheim. It's right on this rig, which is decent, so we need to hit that there, hop up here, and there's the next one. We need to smash that pot. And the last one, I believe, is over here behind these barrels. You'll need to use the sonic arrows to get to those. Nice and easy. And that's how you unlock the chest. Yeah, you would not believe the amount of work that goes into creating these guides, so I do really appreciate you guys watching. I hope it's helping you out getting stuff done. The next realm will be coming very soon. I'm doing my best to get these out, although I think Svartalfheim... And uh, Vanaheim, Alfheim, and Midgard are the only really big realms. The others are quite small. There's not a huge amount to do in them. So hopefully they won't take as long. I have done Svartalheim, Alfheim, and Vanaheim. And I'll be getting those out really soon. And then I'm going to start working on Midgard. I'm actually recorded in 4K these days. So the space that these videos take up is actually huge. Although this video should probably only come to YouTube in 1440p because it's just a collectible video. I don't think anybody's really watching for the amazing quality of the video, you know what I mean? Although it will still be decent. 1440p is still very clear. You'll be able to see everything in very good quality. Although I will be uploading sort of a movie video of this game, which is going to be 12 hours long, but that will be in 4K. Which has been a nightmare to get on YouTube just because of how big it is and the size of the size of the video and YouTube takes forever to process 4K videos. So yeah, it will take a while to get up, but it will be coming soon if you want to check that out. If you just see it for collectibles loan, I do appreciate you very much. And if you've come for my previous God of War collectible video, thank you very much for sticking with me. It does mean a lot. Or right, if you if you're planning on going back to do the other God of War game, I've got a guide for that too. Ah, uh, so that was Raven number six before. This is Raven number seven, just here on the rig. This is Alf Joff's rig. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but... So I think you actually want to move this to the middle position, and I moved it all the way to the bottom and I had to come back. Just a side note, you might want to go back and change that to the middle position. Yeah, it's not quite right. But I decided to show it all just in case there was any confusion about where it was going to be. I'll show my mistakes sometimes. There we go. So let's swing across and open up the barrel. And then we need to hop up here. And there's also one of those shield things that blocks the way up. You might want to kick down while you're up here. It's just there. Gives you a faster way up here if you ever want to come back. So then we're opening up this gate. And hopping down, smashing this, and let's go up. So, Mimir, you're hated by an entire realm because of one mistake. Deservedly. Didn't say it wasn't. I'm just... Well, I know how it feels. Okay, so... We're gonna hop down here, smash through the floor, there's a couple of enemies down here you got to beat up, but just on the wall at the back here is the next rune reed, which is the squash up. Okay. Once you've gone ahead and got that one, 
We're gonna head this way. We need to move this up. Which you can already do from this point, so make sure you do it here. Let's go up. And we need to head back around. And then we need to move the wheel again to the top position. I think the gantry's in the right position now. That's why we did it, Freya. So now we need to go up so that we can jump across to that. There we go. And now we can go up. This is how we get to the rig. So is this the third rig we've done now? I think it might be. Again, you get some good loot out of these guys. You'll have a couple of enemies... When you get up here. Easy. It is done. If you could call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds. Okay. Now that that's done. Next up, we've got a legendary chest, which is number eight that we've collected. A bunch of legendary chests in Svartlheim. So, this is a light runic attack called Njord's Tempest. I think this might be for the axe, but I'm not entirely sure. Kratos, Let's go see. I see something. All right. Okay, so... Taking this all the way up to the top. Going back up the chain. I think that's actually one... Like, the highest it can possibly go, pretty much. But you'll need to move it, I think, in order to get all the way up here. Yeah, it's too high if it's one below. And then in mid-air, you can smash through the wall when you're doing that. I just wanted to take my frustration out on that wooden crate. But there's the legendary chest... Easy. So yeah, it is an axe light runic attack. Decent. Those things can be really useful if you find the right one. Okay, so now that you've done that, come around here. And there's a treasure map. Oh no, a lore scroll just on the floor. Which is the second one we found. Or the third one, sorry. And uh, that is called Passion. So now that you've done that, we're going to go and do the... I think it's a, one of the draug, draug, draug holes. There's a bunch of these across the different realms. Yeah, sorry if my recording got a little bit glitchy there for a second. Like I said, I'm working out the kinks in this new capture card, although it shouldn't ruin the guide at all. If it does, if it's really broken in any area, I'll go ahead and re-record it. I've got no problem doing that. Yeah, we need to head all the way back over towards... I think this is in the Watchtower area. Which is just over here. So yeah, I'm doing my best to work out the kinks of these recordings with this new... I've got a... It's an Elgato 4K60 Pro. And some of the settings I've had are a little bit busted. So I've just been trying to make sure that when I'm recording stuff that I mean, it may look a little bit glitchy in areas, but it shouldn't really break the recording too much. You should be able to figure out where you're going, and if I see anything that is really bad, I'll go ahead and fix it. But yeah, here we are. Let's go over here, and there's the drow hole. Alright, decent. Born from Fire is the favor name. Also, right next to us is another raven. It's just flying around above you in this area. It's raven number eight for us. Okay. So, now that that's done, let's go ahead and move on. I think to the next area. Yeah, we do have to come back here in a little bit. So we're going to the Murkia Tunnels, I think it's called. The first thing we're going to do here is the Yggdrasil Rift. 
Um, shouldn't take us too long to get back there. Again, sorry for the if there's any slight glitch, and I will do my best to fix it. All right, so I'll go to the Mystic Gateway. And we need to travel over to here at Nidavalia Beach. Okay. So now that we're here, let's go ahead and hop across the spear to get into this area. And we're heading this way. Straight up. Why do you yawn? Onto the train. Alright, so there is a raven flying above us, but we're not going to get that just yet. We will come back to this area. It actually counts towards, I think, a different area. I think it counts towards the forge, but don't worry. We will come back and get it. We're just going to go down here first and get the few collectibles that are in the Markia tunnels. I think that's how you... Or Mia, Mia car? Something like that? Just go ahead and do that. Straight down. It's kind of difficult to get back into this area. Right, down we go. Okay. So there's the Yggdrasil Rift. I think you probably will have got that one if you completed the main storyline. It's one you don't really miss, but I left it there just because it does count as a collectible, and obviously I want to show it in these videos. It's kind of difficult to go through the entire game without opening any chests or picking up any collectibles or anything like that, just avoiding everything so that I can come back and make these videos. It's kind of what you have to do when you want to make a video like this. So watch out, don't set yourself on fire when you burn that. You'll need to use the runic arrows and then use the blades to burn those away and then come in here and open up the legendary chests. The ninth one we've got. It's a heavy runic attack called the Fog of Fimble Winter. Again, I think that's for the axe. Yep. It's actually a good one. I kind of like using that one myself. It's kind of a area of effect attack, which is nice, especially not too far into the game. You get that one pretty about halfway through the game or something like that. Okay, so... Next up, we've got a Nornia chest. This is the fifth Nornia chest that we've picked up. When you follow one of these guys, you, guides, you kind of get a um, an idea of just how many collectibles are in this game. There are so many. My previous guide for the last God of War game was about five and a half hours long. And I've done three realms so far, and the video is already over five hours long. So this game has more collectibles, or at least there's more to get to. <laughs> So there's the Nornia chest that we're going to do. The first, um, is it called a Brazio or something like that? That we need to light is right there next to us. The second one is there. And the third one, you're going to have to use the runic arrows to uh, light. You've got the puddle on the floor that sets on fire as well. And there you go. Nornia chest. You might have to shoot a barrel to get that puddle on the floor. I'm not sure. It might already be there, but it's worth mentioning in case you're struggling to get that one. Let's another look at the map. All right, so now we need to leave this area. We've got those few collectibles that are in the tunnels. So we're going to head all the way out of here. Bit of a mission, I know, but let's just get it done. All, right, all the way back. Right. 
Got a chest here if you want to open it. Like I said before, I didn't open any of these throughout my playthrough, so you'll see a lot of them just unopened. But they contain some decent materials, especially ones from further into the game. Like at this point, I think you are about 50-60% of the way through the game in the storyline when you come here. So Asgardian ingots and luminous alloys are really good to get out of those chests because it helps upgrade a lot of your armor when you get them around to like level 6 or 7. So you'll want to go ahead and make sure you're grabbing those. So this is that raven that we ran past earlier. So it's up to you if you get it when we run past. It's entirely up to you. But it's kind of hard to see at the moment because of the way the sky looks on the recording. But uh, yeah, it's just there. You can see it flapping around. You'll see it in this area. It's kind of just next to the train. Good thing about the ravens is you can hear them flying around. So just have a look out for that guy. So next up, we've got artifact number five in Svalheim or Fime. I'm never sure of how to pronounce things in these games, man. All right. Artifact number five, things left behind. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. It's crazy that just for this one realm, the video is like two hours long near enough, or an hour and 50 or something like that. Next up, we've got another Nornia chest. This is Nornia chest number six, I think. And for this one, you need the spear. And you need to throw a spear into each one of the seals. So there's the first two. And the third one is over here. Up there on that rock. Kind of close to the train. Let's go ahead and smash that then. And there you go. Very nice. Alright. So moving on then to our next collectible. There's a quick look at the map for that Nornia chest. We're going to another Yggdrasil Rift. This is the third one that we've had to do. And this one is where you originally fight the Drekki. Which is just here. And there's the Rift. I think you have to fight one of the Huntress type enemies for this. Yep. So beat her up. And then go and access the rift to get it completed. Easy money. You get some dust of realms for that, which is a good uh, upgrade material. Okay. So from there then, we're going to continue along here and squeeze through these cracks to get to the fourth lore scroll, I think, which is Dear Overseal. All right, hop up there. Nice and easy. There we go. Decent. Okay, so you've also got some health stone there if you need it. And hop across this gap. You've got a little chest there if you want to break it open. Open those. Uh, those chests have hack silver in them, pretty much, and that's about it. For the head. Unintended, I imagine. A lot of these are really easy to pick up if you've just gone for them along the way with the main storyline. So you'll probably have got that one seen as you've been here, but cover everything we cover absolutely everything i have picked up nothing throughout this playthrough but stuff that enemies have dropped that's literally it all right so legendary chest number 10 then we're running past the lift we were at with brock earlier in the storyline this is the atlas eruption which is a heavy runic blade attack did my best to label these out so if you're looking for something specific you can find it time stamped in the description if you want a certain runic attack, you'll know where to find it. Please, please feel free if I've missed labeling anything correctly or if anything's wrong. Feel free to tell me about it in the comment section. And I will pin your comment. 
but after double checking all of these and making sure I've got everything in the right place and you know all the collectibles in each area featured in the video I'm pretty sure that I haven't missed anything it's very easy to notice your mistakes when you watch a video back like this okay so raven number 10 I'm gonna come over here we can hop down these ledges run over this way okay a little bit of a run here but that's fine we're gonna need to use the lift we'll bring this closer with some edited magic why do you yawn force of habit I suppose since I don't sleep anymore Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. It's a great feature of these games that the NPCs just have conversations between each other. Gives you little insights into what's going on and little tidbits of information. Kind of cool. All right, so getting up here then, this is the actual forge, and I think the raven is the only collectible here. We never do seem to get rid of those things. All right. Yeah, again, the first three realms or so have the majority of the ravens. I think the first three realms have like 35 of the ravens or something like that, maybe more. Right, ignore Freya, she didn't say anything. We're going up here. Climbing up these rocks. All the way up. Alright. Heading through here. Some health stone there if you want it. And this is for another one of the lost lindworms. So, through the crack in the rock here. And this lindworm is like in a back corner of this area. You're going to have to do some jumping though. Smash this rock. Oh no, you just need to chuck the spear into it, my bad. So you can hop across. And there we go. Kratos, a spectacular job. Keep it up and you'll become an expert in no time. I can't tell if sort it's patronizing or if that was just plain sad. Sad. Alright, so there's the map. Both. Both. Okay, so we're heading to the Apple Core now, so head back to a Mystic Gate Gateway, the nearest one to you. And we'll go in over to the uh wetlands again so that was a big trek back to the mystic gateway so i just headed it out but just head to your nearest gateway and go to the wetlands we're gonna have to go across the ferry again uh so that we can get to this area but i will do my best to show all of that literally just coming all the way back through the forge and then going to the mystic gateway coming all the way here would take up much longer than necessary on the uh the video so I just included this part, just telling you guys to go back to a mystic gateway should be simple enough. I'm sure you can find your way back to them, and if you struggle to find a gateway, you can always highlight it on the compass on the map, just by pressing triangle. Alright, so, come into this lift, and this is where you rescued Tio, relatively early on in the game. And this lift takes forever to go down, so I'm pretty sure I edited this. Okay, so... Turn in right here, and you will get a mystic gateway when you come to this area. But if you haven't been here yet, you won't have that. Alright, that was a bit of a weird edit, but there are enemies to defeat here, so I got those defeated. And we've come back just next to the gateway. Trying my best to keep this clear. It can get a little bit confusing when I get into a fight with enemies. And uh, then I have to backtrack to where I was so that I can show clearly where to go on the guide, because I can obviously get 
put in a different position after beating the enemies. So if I edit it out, it can seem a little unclear of exactly where I am. So I do my best to just beat the enemies and backtrack a few steps to show where we're going. You'll probably see that a few times if you're following these guides. Alright, so now we're getting the Nornia chest. And there are the seals. Alright, so there's the chest. Check on the map. Nice and easy. Alright, so artifact number eight then, which is Cavassia's poem. Or is that number six? It's probably number six. I can't see it very clearly in my editing software. I'm not blind, I promise. It's just that the quality I have to watch these videos back in is reduced so that it'll actually play back smoothly. If you've ever done any video editing, you might know what I'm talking about, but... Essentially getting your computer to play back a 4K video in an editing software with a bunch of different edits and effects on it and all kinds of stuff is not the easiest of things. Not the same as just watching a video on YouTube, you know. Basically putting my hardware under a lot of strain. So there was the poem, and up here is another raven. There's a chest here also if you want to break that open. So come down here then. There's some hacks over there if you want it. Kick down this chain. Gonna have to beat this boss. We got a great shot of the wall there. Okay, I'll just say it. I'm getting a really terrible feeling for this place. This was where we freed the imposter. Dear. Oh. Odin took our noblest instincts and used them against us. That's what he always does. We will bear the weight of our mistakes, not with guilt, but with footsteps heavy with purpose. Come, we have work to do. All right, so you get some spear handles out of beating that boss as well, which is decent. But moving on, went through that crawl space. We've got another chest here if you want to open it. This will give us Raven number 11 when we get to it eventually. Okay, so it's just up there as you come through the door. Again, this may be one that you just saw along the storyline. And there it is on the map. Moving on then. Shimmying across this wall. We're going to get artifact number seven, which is things left behind. A lot of collectibles in the Apple Core. Going to be still. <laughs> All right. This looks familiar. We're back in the spiral section of the mine. You're gonna need to break this rock so that you can get to the artifact. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the world mill built by Durin the Generous. Who? All right. So, quick look at the map. More health stone if you want it. And a little bit of hack silver. Why not? Nice and easy pickups. Okay, so heading back through this door. And you're gonna have a Draga hole. Okay, so that's two of the Draug holes completed. Nice and easy. And you've also got a legendary chest in this room. This is number 11 for the legendary chests. The Fortified Frost Knob, which is an axe attachment. Beautiful. 
nice to get two in one room. Okay, so heading back. Through this door. And uh, we're going to hop back up here. And around across this gap to your right. And hop down onto this bridge. Come around here. Heading all the way down. And then finally to your right here. And you can find the treasure map solution, which is mining glory. Again, this is why we've left this until a little bit later in the video, because we found the map. We need to find the map before we can get the treasure. Without the map itself, you will not be able to find that treasure. All right, so we're moving on to a law marker, which is cooperation. It's just down here through the uh, wood. You've got to break to get to that. Quick look at the map again. All right, so once you've done that, hop up. And we're going to go and get the rune reed number four. Which is the vault. Yeah, I really feel like it was the best idea to break this video down into realms. Although, if you want to wait, I will be releasing a video that has all of the collectibles in one video. It's just going to come after I've done each of the realms individually. There are that many collectibles in these games that I literally can't put all of the timestamps into the description. If I do the last video I made for God of War, I couldn't put all of the timestamps into the description, so I had to put them in the comment section. But hopefully with breaking these videos into realms... Yeah, you, wanna, you always want to talk shit, don't you, Mimir? You always, you always want to go on, mate. So... There's the... Uh, Rune Reed, which translate into the vault. You will have to break down a sonic barrier to get to that. Okay. But yeah, I couldn't fit all the timestamps into the, into the description. Hopefully breaking the video down into realms, I'll be able to put the timestamps for each realm into the description of the video. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with timestamps, it's basically a time that you put into the description. So you say... Uh, 42 minutes there is a raven kind of thing so that you can go and find individual collectibles if you want to that's why you'll see the video broken into segments on the little red bar below the video as well you can like skip between each one and figure out where you are great thing about this game is it's broken into those sections so if you look through the map and find a section you're missing something on you can go into the description look at that section in the description find what thing you're missing and just go straight to it. That's the whole point of doing the timestamps. Anyway, we're moving on to artifact number eight, which is things left behind. You'll need to fight a bunch of enemies here, so be ready for that. Hop across here. Pretty sure I edited out the fight around here somewhere. And you've got a big ogre type enemy to fight around there. So once you've come up here and cleared out the enemies, you're going to need to, I think you've got, I've already destroyed the part. I think I already destroyed the part a minute ago when we first came into this area. So we need to, yeah, we need to go through this door after you've done that. Make sure you've destroyed that part or you won't be able to get through here. And the there is the collectible. Made for the Aesir. Indeed. And then stolen by Ulf, Yorf, the thief. Okay. Sorted. Alright. Chuck the spear into the hole there. This is another lost lindworm. It's the fourth one. It's crazy that there's four of these in the one realm. You get most of this favor done. Justin's far off him. Kratos just does not care. I've offended you. Oh no. I think you hurt his feelings. And you get a gale spark for that one. Alright, moving on to Nornia chest number seven. 
It's just next to where we got the Lindworm. So you're going to need to break some seals for this one. There's one down there. And one over here, just next to the gate. We'll leave that one till last, but you're going to need to break this part in order to get to the second one. Okay, and the third one, like I just ran past a second ago, is right there. Come back, detonate those, and you can open the chest. Nice and easy. Quick look at the map. Let's move on to legendary chest number 12, which gives you the banner nog? No? I have no idea, but it's an axe knob. More enemies to deal with. Let's get rid of them quick. All right. Come on now, Mia, don't swear too much, mate. I'm trying to stay monetized here. All right. Although if I got demonetized for a couple of swears this late into the video, I would be very, very surprised. All right. So I think you need to climb up in this room. I was a little bit confused as to which way to go, but yeah, you need to look up and climb up. Yeah, I think it's to, it's to the left as you crawl through the hole. And come up here and you can now use the chisel to open this door i think when you reach this point in the game you'll probably see this but you don't have the blessing on your chisel or freya with you to open the, the uh, door so there we go one banner nog knob All right, so I think that's the apple core completed. And now we need to go to the Yarns, is it the Yarns Mindum, Yarns Midder pit mines or something like that? First thing you'll see in this area is a Berserker gravestone. This is our third Berserker gravestone. Beat him up. All right, that's that guy sorted. Let's take a quick look at the map. Don't think there's too many collectibles in this area, but there's a fair few. All right, so we're coming over here, jumping this gap. We need to use the blades on this and spin it around. And then we need to break this pot. And that'll bring around the lift for us. It's very difficult to get through all of these areas without literally breaking anything or, you know, picking anything up accidentally. Frequent saving was how I had to do it. If I messed up and picked something up by mistake, I would make sure to go ahead and just load the game. The thing I missed the most was the upgrades, like the Nornia chests, which give you health and rage upgrades. I wasn't too bothered about the armor because as you progress through the game, the game actually just gives you armor in the shop that you can buy for just hack silver and it sort of gives you like level levels as you progress through the game. So you'll be able to get like decent armor as you progress through the game. Not the best stuff, but some of the good stuff. Because I wasn't opening any of the red chests though, I couldn't really upgrade anything too frequently, which was rough. All right, so we're hopping down off this block and across here, and then we're going to follow up this sort of railway track up to the top, and there's a 
artifact, artifact number nine. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well. All right. So now we've got a legendary chest. He never was one for the art. This will give you the pommels of the Undying Spark, which is a blade attachment. There's the map. So moving on to Raven number 12. you got a health stone there if you want it. Let's go down here. Hop across. And down here. You'll need to use the spear in order to get across this area. So chuck it in right there. Come back around. And then you can hop across the gap with the spear. And the raven is just around here, flying around in front of you. You can get this one from a few different places, but that's just where I got it from. Okay. So 12 ravens down. I think there's 48 in the game. So that's a quarter of the ravens down. Still lots and lots and lots and lots and lots to do in this game. Alright, so next up we've got Nornia chest number 7. Let's go ahead get that first thing lit and there's the second one you need to freeze the wheel here before you can get that one so let's do this this one first get that out of the way hop across here and yeah you'll need to freeze the water up top so that you can light this one and keep the water off don't retrieve your axe until you go to the chest so come up open the chest and then you can take your axe back sorted what have we got left of this video? About 20 minutes. We've come so far, but we've got like seven more realms to do. Honestly, editing these videos takes so much time. Crazy amount of time. All right, there we go. That's going to come up. Let's hop across. It's cooperative in large scare quotes. Sorted. Rune Reed number five. That's the pit mine. Very, very good. And let's go get artifact number ten, which is things left behind. All the way up here. Coming back on ourselves just past that Nornia chest. Back this way. This is where we got that raven earlier. Then we're going to use the spear on the rope heel to chuck down there. And then we can... Go straight across. Sorted. And grab a collectible right there. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. Nice and easy. Also, right next to you here is a mystic gateway that's covered by this stuff that you need to burn away to have access to. So doing that just gives you access to another Mystic Gateway if you want it. It's not collectible, but, you know. Nice and easy. Alright, next up we've got the Remnants of Asgard, the third one in Svartalheim. So you're going to need to climb up the chain. These will only be accessible once you've beaten the game, obviously, but... Let's go up, and you'll have these guys to fight. Yeah, so beat all of them up, and that'll get it completed. With Asgard destroyed, where will the Einar Yar go? Valhalla exists both inside and outside of Asgard. Who knows what became of it? And that right there is the piece of the Asgardian wall. Okay. So from right next to the wall, you can find the next lore scroll, which is called Next Steps. It's literally right next to it, where I'm standing right now. Take a look at the map just so you know where that one is. Really didn't have to travel very far for that one, but it's kind of close to the, the Asgardian wall. All right, so now we're going back to the uh, Mystic Gateways, and you want to travel over here to the Mystic Gateway, which is called the Watchtower. And this is the one we went to uh, where I think Lund Lunda is at the shop, like right next to you, and it's where we did the Drow Coal. That seems is. You're right. Thanks, brother. 
Okay, so this is how you unlock Ling Baker Island, which is the last area that we need to do. I don't know, we could have done this a little bit earlier, but I actually didn't know about this. It can't still be here. What? There's a key. I, I need you to find it, brother. An innocent life is at stake. Okay, so this will do the favor the weight of chains. Right, so hop up after you've destroyed the nest and worked your way up here. Game wouldn't let me jump up straight away, but there we go. And we need to open up, I think, this area by smashing the pot. Yep. And then we can shimmy across here. Innocent life, do you speak of? What did you do? What I thought was right, or at least what I thought was clever. Yeah, this island is very well hidden, but you need to get the key from the island first before you can unlock it, and that's what we're doing right now. Let's go ahead and destroy this nest. This is the last area we've got to do around here. Let's go ahead and lower this cage and throw the axe into the gear, and then we can come back here. Maybe if you found a way into that lift. Freya's just like Captain Obvious right now. Doesn't realize what we're actually working on. All right, so hop on to the lift after you've lowered it and thrown the axe into the gear to freeze it, and then you can jump up and bring your axe back. That'll take you up, and then you can you jump. The height you need to smash the Thanks, Freya. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for all your help. All right. Beat this guy up, and then... You can grab the chest that's in this area, and it will give you the key. Nice and easy. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. All right, so now we're going back to the watchtower area. The mining rigs are not the only sin I committed in Spartalfine. Right. So now we're going back over here to the watchtower. And we could have done this a little bit earlier, but we would have needed the key to continue. And I just thought it'd be easier just to leave it all until we had it all lined up at the end. Not really too much of a problem because you've got the mystic gateways right there and you can just come straight back to this island, you know what I mean? So yeah, to get up here, you're going to have to have smashed the pot that is at the bottom. So if you're here a little bit earlier, um, that pot might be there still. But if you followed completely along with me, it should already be smashed. Alright, so this is back where the drag hole was, or Draugr hole. Open up this. And then interact with the drum. Lane. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. Right, so that'll bring up the Ling Bako or whatever it's called, which is actually an island with a bunch of collectibles on it. Let's get moving towards it. Go finish up Svartalheim. This is the last section we need to do in this realm, which is nice. You'll have your first realm 100%ed if you follow this guide. A Lungbaka. A Lungbaka. Many years ago. For Odin. Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked. That it did. This creature. You enslaved it. Aye. The Allfather put you up to this? No. This was my brilliance at work. I'm surprised. Chaining up the innocent is a favored pastime of Odin's. The irony is not lost on me. All right. You'll have some enemies when you get up here. Get rid of them. And then come over here. 
smash this pot that's next to the gate. And we'll work through the favor and also get the collectibles while we go along. We need to smash this chain. Or bolt, whatever it is. Right. We chained the fence too. If you could. There we go. It spent countless winters wishing it wasn't. But we're going to free it. And then. And then it will still wish for death. Now for the answer. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. Alright, so working our way around here. More enemies to deal with. Let's get the lore marker. I think I was a little bit confused about where to go. What's it say, brother? I think you may have to go up there in a minute, though. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so coming up here then. Hop across. Got another poem? Well, Mia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. Nice and easy. Let's go back. All right. So back down then. Trying to snag up those collectibles as we go along. Makes sense. We've got to do another another one of those, I think maybe two of those bolts. Alright. Cross we go. You got a little chest here if you wanna break that open. And a couple of enemies here to beat up. Kick the chain down. Why enslave the creature? Its fat was a good source of oil. For Odin's lanterns. Oil? Toward lanterns. Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. The fan, if you could. Alright, so chop the chain. Just the tail left now. Alright, let's go ahead and open this. And then you can get this bomb. Make sure you open the gate first. And then you need to run around here. And use the bomb. To uncover the area we ran past earlier we couldn't break. There we go. That allows us to hop across. Got a little chest here if you want to get it. I ignored that one. Let's keep going across. And then... We can go across here, get the raven. It's raven number 12. Nice and easy. Quick look at the map. Alright. Also got a little chest here if you want to smash that open. We just need to deal with a tail now, I think. And we'll be getting the next legendary chest when we're on our way to that. That's the Rond of Aggravation, which is a shield rond. Okay. So, let's hop back over here. And then we need to come down this way. And I think we need to use the bombs again now. So, hop across this gap. No, it's not a gap. There's just a shadow that looks like a gap. It's deceiving. Grab the bomb and... Throw it right here to break the wall that's in the way. Over there. And then jump the gap. 
You got a little chest there if you want to open it. Come down here and break this stuff on the dock. Now to get to this, we're going to have to leave that's how we reach this and head around. Little chest there if you want to open it. Not really a good amount of stuff, but whatever, I'll take it. Okay, so heading back to the boat, we need to go back this way. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made? No. Yeah, so we just need to go to the boat and head around to that dock we just broke open. Here we go. Let's go. I thought... I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. Right. We can reach the tail from this dock. So around we go, heading up. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. All right, up we go. And our chest is just there. Let's beat up the enemies in this area. That guy jumped to his death, I think. All right, so... Smash them little statues. Let's continue with the favor also by breaking this chain. Tail must be chained as well. All right, so we need to hop across. I think the other chest is just a red chest, but the legendary chest is across here. That's also how we finish the favor. Yeah, there's the legendary chest. Nice. Let's go ahead and uh, set this thing free then. There we go, there's the shield run. Nice. So to finish this favor, we just need to go ahead and go to the, uh, the Ling Bacchus face and Mamiya will talk to it, I think. Can you get me closer to its eyes? Also, if you open this over here, there's a uh, Jew from the World Tree that increases your points. These don't count to completion, but they're kind of nice to get if you want to go and get it. If you open this, you'll see a gate get lowered in the distance. And that'll allow you to go and get it. It's up to you if you want to go now get I it. Just, need to speak the word. just ups your stats a little bit. So that's it for Svartalheim. I hope the video has helped you out let me know if it has uh this has taken a very long time to put together as all of the realms do i've got all the other realms coming very soon i'll also be posting a video like i said with all of the realms but that'll take me a minute to get around to although the other realms will all come separately very soon thank you very much for watching i hope the video has helped you let me know in the comment section if it has if you want to support me just drop a like on the video maybe subscribe if you haven't already i've got lots of other guys for other games and uh yeah more coming very soon if you want to support me further you can always become a member on the channel join my discord I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash iframes. Thank you all again very much for watching. Have yourself a great day. And until next time, take it easy.